Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Are You Garbage. Please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the videos as they come out. Yeah, do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage, the show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're absolute trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Tootie's basement for the holidays. It smells like icy hot, and that's the way we like it. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO, the chairman of the board. He's on the lease here at AYG. Give it up for my best pal, Kippy, Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Check it out. Those numbers are true to roof. Thanks to <laughs> T-Bone over there. Uh, also, patreon.com slash are you garbage. Uh, you can guys sign up for bonus content, uh, videos, bonus episodes every week. Also, we're going to be doing a live stream at the end of every month where we ask you questions, you ask us questions. It's going to be a fucking hoot. Get mm -hmm. involved. Yes, sir. I love yeah. you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> and how about a nice big <laughs> shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Chicago kid, the fucking <laughs> magic man. We know him by T-Bone around here. Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, hey woo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like the new nickname. He Man, a few given. words over there in the DJ booth. I like it. But, gang, we cannot, and I mean cannot. Got a hot one. We got a hot one. We got a little fucking star power in this dump. <laughs> not the bozos you usually see on this show. Yeah. Not the animals we drag in off the street. That's right. Our guest today is an incredibly successful sports broadcaster, reporter, and host of multiple podcasts. Okay. She has worked as a sideline reporter for Fox Sports. She's worked at ESPN, the SEC Network, ESPNU, of course, Sirius XM. She is a graduate of Texas A&M University and, of course, one of the co-hosts of the Pro Football Football Show with Deion Sanders and one of the stars over there at Barstool Sports. Mm -hmm. But the big question in everybody's mind today, is she garbage? I don't know. I saw a Louis Vuitton bag walk through the door. <laughs> and you called it a coach bag. And I called it a coach bag. <laughs> and I so I'm you. pretty fucking impressed. I'll tell you that right now. Give it up for Casey Smith, yeah. everybody. Oh Come God. on. Thank you for inviting me to the basement. Ah, you know thanks what? for coming I, on down. I love hanging out in the basement. Close the door on your way in. Yeah, I know. Me and two men in a basement. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Just for uh, legal purposes, we're on the fourth floor. Or the fourth floor. Okay? <laughs> she is not technically in a basement. <laughs> Uh, thank you for having me. So when you when you run through everywhere I've worked, mm -hmm. it sounds like I might be a successful person. To you Barstool, are a successful right? person. You know, Come like, on. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. But now I'm at Barstool Sports, so you can just erase all the rest <laughs> of the show. It, it just completely negates anything yeah. I've ever done once yeah. I go to Barstool Sports. No way. What are your all class in my book? Now, oh, what do you, you do you say you're garbage or not? So I say I'm not garbage, but it's usually because I think my parents aren't garbage. Okay. But I think as an adult, I might be a little bit more. You slipped into Ooh, some garbage. Yeah. Well, if you talk about my college years now, yeah. garbage, <laughs> garbage. So I guess it really depends on how you guys weigh this. Sure. I'm very interested to see how we weigh this. Well, we found out, you know, people that come from like, you know, decent families, good mm -hmm. families, you know, maybe wealthy families or so. And once they start making, once the kids start making their own decisions, that's where it really shows that, you know. They don't really follow the family mm -hmm. trends. You know what I mean? They right. tend to be pretty garbage. Yeah, I, I like to believe that I've gone back towards the good trend of my parents mm -hmm. as okay. I've gotten a little bit older. I'm in my older. 30s now, mm -hmm. but sure. I'm going to let you guys decide that. I hear you guys are the absolute totem pole of who's garbage we and who's not. We are the authority on trash. Can own our own waste management company. We <laughs> are that, trash. Well, I've talked to both of you about about leftovers. Yeah, already. we called yeah. that. That was the big thing. That I mean, I mean that kind of took. That was when it kind of you know KFC, uh, your buddy also from Barstool, a good friend of ours. A good Shout friend out of the to show. KFC. Shout out to KFC. He kind of we the, the leftovers debate took fucking took the internet by storm for a couple of <laughs> Which days. Which is crazy. Uh, it's people latch onto that shit so easily. Like we do a radio show every day on Sirius XM together, and so we'll be talking about important things in the world. Mm -hmm. Not one call. We talk about if you should take leftovers sure. home. A billion calls for sure. days yeah, and yeah, days. Yeah. And I mean, it, it hit, and I got to hear how both of you feel well, about he, it. If you're on my side. Yeah, yeah. You definitely take leftovers. Me, home. Definitely take leftovers home. Nuts. And me and KFC are on the same side because he texted me. He goes, "Dude, you got to call into the radio show. We're talking about leftovers." And I don't know. To me, it's also I'm never in a position where there is leftovers. This is tired ground. We've gone over this a mm -hmm. bunch. 
but I'm never in a position where there is leftovers. And I don't see how you are either. This is what this is what I don't you understand. Call me fat? I want to have a snack you call me later. Fat over there? No, him. I know. I, I just get, wanted to, I just wanted oh, to make sure. Yes, I'm calling him fat for sure. That's <laughs> no. a that's a major theme. On the I show. purposely <laughs> that is <laughs> okay. No, I will right I down will, the barrel. That I is a not, major <laughs> theme. I, this is a pro fat shaming show. I will not be doing that. So mark that down on the class list. <laughs> I make sure that we overorder a little bit at the mm. restaurant. Especially if I go out to dinner with my girlfriend, I know she's not going to finish it. Of course not. And that's the best, is finishing her half at home when we're watching a movie or something like that. I you don't even it. let her finish it? Not if she wanted to, she could. <laughs> what if, don't her. you stop that! <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if she wanted to eat the leftovers when you guys got home? Would it be a She never does, man. Really? She never does. She might say, hey, I'm going to take this home and eat it, but she never does. See, I know? actually eat it when I get home or the next day. Now, it does depend on what it is. I'm not taking bar food home. I don't know if we... Sure, you're not going to do like chicken bar, tenders no. and no, mozzarella no, no, sticks no. or something. I'm not, Wait, why? Because it's not good when it's reheated. I, Thank I you. never reheat a mozzarella. I love a cold mozzarella stick. You know what? I've had some cold mozzarella sticks oh, in my day, too. But I, I'm, I more think of uh, take-home stuff. It's like steak and mashed mm-hmm. potatoes and sure. asparagus. Like That always tastes good the next day. Yeah. yeah. You can't be heating up chicken tenders. He will. I mean, yeah, so he I'm won't even eat it up. So I'm somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so yeah. I, 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 he's, 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 yes, he's, he's. Okay, okay. I like how you saw my reaction yeah. to bridge that gap. Yeah. It's okay, fatty. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be what, all right. You take home whatever you want. Yeah, she's like, I'm not going to eat a cold mozzarella stick. He's like, what? <laughs> You're not going to what? I start how, crying. How drunk am I? Now that I'll eat anything. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk. man. Come on. What are we doing? Fucking Is drunk it? with some cold nachos. Oh, Woo. Turn the lights off. Cold It's about to get weird. Oh, yeah. We are in a basement. You know, turn the lights off, baby. Legally the fourth floor. <laughs> All right, so give us the backstory. Yeah. Now, Texas A and M. I'm just going to say that's no that's no slouch of an organization. Oh, well, thank that's you. A, that's a pretty good school. I appreciate it. You have to be in the top 10 percent of your class to get in there. Ooh, so, which you were not. <laughs> I um I went to a private high school, non right. Catholic. It was a big Catholic school. There was like 300 of us graduating, which in Texas is you know pretty big private school. But I have to tell you, we wore the full Catholic schoolgirl uniforms. Nice. So like you know it was. It was Plaid skirts, knee socks, the whole thing. So I went to private school my entire life because, like I've said, my parents are, are very classy. People. Suburbs okay. of Dallas, you said. Yeah, Arlington, Texas. So Arlington, that's where uh, the Cowboys Stadium is yeah. now. Sure. So it's right between Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, I grew up in an Episcopalian school, Baptist church, Catholic high school. So my parents Damn. really wanted to fuck me up huh. in yeah, religion. They were yes. fucking they weren't cycle. Catholic. No, we, were, we went to a Baptist uh, church because my dad played guitar at the Baptist church. But Ooh. I wanted to play basketball, so I played AAU, and my head coach was the varsity coach at p- the private high school I went to. Okay. Did you follow that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you, yeah. you get recruited to go there? Uh no, I wasn't very good. But okay. I most of my well, girlfriends. Well, AAU were, was good, right? Yes. AAU's oh, like but I, I, was, or... I was like the last, the last person okay. on the roster. I was good enough to make the team. If I got to play, we threw a party when we got. <laughs> <home>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's I um. So you were going to private school no matter what. No matter what, because uh, the district that we lived in in Arlington, it was right on the edge of a school that my parents were like. Eh, it's a little yeah. Uh, well, little you know, like, <laughs> eh. And then I just stayed. So yeah. So again, mark I'm mark this down. I can only see where this can go. Now this is the the least garbage thing. I'm I'm about to tell you, okay. but I'm going to get it out of the way. All right. I grew up playing the harp. Wow. Whew. That thing right there. That is me. Yep. That wow. is me. That's an actual photo of me. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I started playing in kindergarten. I don't think I've ever, I don't think there's any... I've never Do you have one anybody. now? My parents have one at their house, yes. Oh, uh, your parents got a little bit of gay. Now, 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 yeah, you now got some disposable is, income if you're There's kids no are harp in a fucking <laughs> your double kids are line. Playing the I'll harp. tell you no, that. But I will say, my parents will, I know they're going to listen to this. Sorry, mom and dad, for all the stories you're about to hear. <laughs> but again, I work at fucking Barstool, so you already know <laughs> yeah. them, anyways. Shout out to um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, they, sorry, Ron. Sorry, Marty. <laughs> so I. Ron and Marty? Ron and Marty oh, Smith. Oh, man. I, know I love them. I know. They're, they're great. Uh, so we, the school that I went That's to, fantastic. like we were like, and I, we were upper middle class. The school I went to was like wealthy, wealthy. Yeah. So right. we were like, the, I was like the poor kid, you know, gotcha. I, I right. got a Honda Civic when I turned 16, thought it was the coolest thing ever. My best friend got a Porsche. Like, yeah. so that'll, you know, so my parent, mom and dad, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I promise. So Honda we, Civic's all right though. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Classic. As a 16 year old. <laughs> was it a stick or an automatic? It was automatic. I can't drive a stick. Okay. I can't drive a stick. It's classy Cassie the Civic. Ah, <laughs> she had a nice right. little spoiler. Uh, oh, very nice. What color was it? Silver. Yo, oh, I've oh, named yeah. every car I've ever had, and yeah. that is so garbage. Oh, it's so yeah. garbage. Oh, so, you're naming so your car. Well, like people with Mercedes oh. aren't naming it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're, no, you're naming no, your shitty not. car <laughs> to make it cute and lovable. Yeah, no, no one's hopping in their fucking <laughs> Beamer being like, all right, Ted, let's go. <laughs> 
But you know what? They fucking should. They really fucking should. Teddy. Yeah. Come over here, Teddy. Uh, yeah. And then, but I was also trying to rebel a little bit against my Catholic school uh, situation. I hung a red bandana from the rearview mirror because I thought that I was the biggest Lil Wayne fan on the planet. Oh, shout out, so, shout out to Lil Wayne. Yeah, so especially I, in the I South, was, that was probably kicking oh, yeah, windows yeah. down, hip hop pumping. Oh yeah, but it, only when I got away from my parents, you know, where they couldn't necessarily hear what yeah. I was. You know what I'm I saying? I was the same. So, I would turn it down on my block a little yeah, bit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm a respectable guy, yeah, you know exactly, what I mean? What are you exactly. guys from Footloose? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> has music br- in your neighborhood. I can't be bumping. I mean, we're, we grew up in a cul-de-sac. You know yeah, what I mean? It's one man in, one man out. Everybody knows it's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I would just turn it up a little bit louder as I get on the highway. But I, um, uh, I, I have a younger sister. Okay. She's my only sibling. She's three years younger than me. Much better person than me. Okay. She works a nonprofit. She works for uh, an orphanage that geez. helps kids that have been in really bad situations. And I tell dick jokes on the radio, <laughs> I so know. I know. Yeah, you can tell who the favorite child is. Yeah. What? Um. What? Wait. I want to go back to the car real quick. Okay. Did you do anything to like trick it out? Did you put like a head unit in it or speakers or anything or just kind of stock as is? Got it. Put the bandana on and fake hit the rims. bricks. No fake rims. Okay. No spinning hubcaps or no, anything. No, no, no. So you, I don't think you can roll up to a Catholic private school with rims. I don't think that's allowed. Put some twenties rocking. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that they allow that. They'd be like this, like blonde bumping many hair. men or something. Father Mahoney, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> many men. Yeah, I think the the fathers and the sisters would have had a problem with that. Um, but no. It, what's the deal with this Smith girl? <laughs> yeah. She's break dancing and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and of course the like Catholic school, it's like you know everybody's like doing drugs and stuff in the bathroom. But oh, I was yeah, too, I yeah, was yeah, too yeah, good yeah. for that. I was kind of prudish growing up, so that really. was, so that was, uh, that was my my childhood. Now I, another thing, I did grow up going to a country club, and we would bring home chicken fingers and reheat them. So nice. I do want you to know that that's, as we were talking. That's the, the the duality of man taking chicken fingers home from your private country club. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, they, they made a mean finger though. Oh, the pool, the oh. pool chicken fingers oh, they would have. Dude. Oh, I mean, come on. My I brother, love the pool snack shop. Dude, yeah. my brother right belongs now. to one, and we go like when I go back home in the summer or whatever. They'll be like, oh, all the kids are we're going over to the pool, and dude, that's get snack the ones bar. Out. They, they come out in that red and white little fucking basket. Oh, oh. oh. it's heaven dude. on earth, taking me back. My my, our favorite dessert. My dad's was the uh, those white powdered donuts. The you know the yeah the, yeah little donuts. I don't, can't yeah, tell yeah, if you're yeah. grossed out by me. No, I like it. No, no, <laughs> I, I can't. No, not at all. I was like, are you judging me right now? Are you judging my not dad's favorite dessert? No, I'm on but board with it. I'm they, saying, of course. <laughs> they would restock them at the country club for my sister and I because they knew how much we loved. Them. Was it the sleeve yeah. of the mini oh, ones? The sleeve. The sleeve. Yeah. The yeah. Go the sleeve. There was like what, like five in there uh, or something? Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah gotta go the sleeve. Are killer. Pop yeah. So I don't. I don't really know which way I am right now. I can't. I can't. I'm on the fence too. Well, I mean, playing the harp though has to tip me over. The harp's pretty good. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to ask you a series of questions oh to determine whether, in fact, you are garbage or not. Um, we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to do this one by the numbers. Oh. All right. We're going back to the beginning. OK. We're going to start off. Now, you said upper middle class outside of Dallas. We're going to see. Mm-hmm. What was the name of the street that you grew up on? Washington Drive. It's pretty wow. classy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wow. Damn. Washington heard of him. Holy That's pretty good. Washington. Yeah. I live over on Washington Drive. Yeah, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. Was it a cul-de-sac, a loop, or was it just like a regular, just a street? It was a regular street, but my backyard was the sixth tee box of the country Ooh. club. So Washington Drive had a lot of back, of golf course property okay. back there. Was it yeah. the country club that you were a member of? Yes. So it was one of those neighborhoods that's a that's a neighborhood and a country club. Well, you could be a part of the country club. You didn't, you didn't immediately to, yeah. get into it. So it's not like a gated community where okay. you, you know, it was open open streets um if you wanted to be a member of the country club you could also be wow that's mm. pretty nice now what does your dad do can i ask you that yeah of course he's a mortgage banker night and your little mom? bit of gauge so my, when i was born my mom worked for the bank in new york then she was a stay-at-home mom mm-hmm. with my sister and i then she got her master's degree at, mm-hmm. at tcu in art mm-hmm. and then now she does a bunch of charity work Damn, you come wow. from fucking come good on. You're stock. You're like a Kennedy over yeah. here. No, 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 definitely not. Compared definitely to him. Not. Compared definitely to him. Not. What? No, You're she, the queen of fucking English. Charity work. <laughs> she does. She she worked for for a, um, an older folks home. She did some PR. She did go back to work when we were both in high school because she was like probably just sick sure, of us. Yeah, and she was yeah. like, I need to probably help. 2008 was hard on the family. You know, sure, the, the sure. The mortgage oh, crisis, yeah, you know, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, she, she's on and off has, has worked in PR and now she's, the coronavirus has kind of kept her at home. But Gotcha. You know. She Washington. did get her master's degree, so I mean that's, that's pretty classy. That's classy. Damn. classy. Washington Drive. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, um, <laughs> that's nice around the holidays. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm um, sure. Beautiful. 
Uh, growing up, I assume you, it was a single family home. You had a garage. We did have a garage. In that garage, this is a big, big, big There's hot button no issue. way this question I know. isn't a fucking yes. I know. And I bet you it was stocked to the hills. Did you have a garage? Did you have a refrigerator in that garage? Fuck yeah, we yeah, had it. Of course, <laughs> of course we and did. And what was in that fridge? A lot of soda. Yeah, it was. A lot yeah, of soda. Yeah, it was. A lot of Dr. Pepper down in Texas. <laughs> big Dr. Pepper family. Big time. Is that big in Texas or is that was that you guys just a Dr. Pepper family? I think fam? it's both. Okay. But like my dad is, my dad's a huge soda dessert candy guy. Awesome. And he, st- I mean, that thing was stocked full of Dr. Pepper. Damn. Damn. I love it. I don't think Pepper. I had a Coke until like I went really? to school. Like I, it was Dr. Pepper and Sprite. Because wow. we had Akash Singh, who's from Dallas, uh, comedian, yeah. comedian buddy of ours. Uh, we mentioned Mr. Pibbs to him, and he almost why? It's, what's the deal with that? Why well, Dr. That, Pepper's a I don't Texas Mr. company. No, I don't know. I think Mr. Pibbs is just super read. I don't think it's a down there, is it? Mr. Pibbs is gross. Yeah, See, I don't even think I've had the same thing. It's, I mean, that's like shit I could get on the street of New York. His Dr. Pepper is <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Yeah. He's a, the man went to fucking med school. Okay? <laughs> 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 this ain't no fucking Mr. Pibb. He's an MD. Dr. Pepper. Mr. Pibb is like the knockoff version of Dr. Pepper. But why is Dr. Pepper so big in Dallas? I actually don't know that answer. I probably should know that answer. Mm. It is. People it's I know because Coke's not big in the South. It was Coke's, it's more Pepsi, right? More Pepsi down more there. More Pepsi yeah. Southern, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think Dr. Pepper, it might be a Texas company, but it's definitely a Southern company because okay. I talk about it up here and people tell me I'm garbage for that. Oh, fucking Dr. Pepper. I have that at the holidays. K- yeah. KFC. Kevin Clancy, he mocks Dr. Pepper on the red. Come well, on. See, he's trash, and some of his KFC. takes are trash, yeah, too. Come That's on, true. buddy. That's true. Fucking um, ice cold Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, Get out of here. It just hits so good. It is. It was like a treat for us. My, we wouldn't have it, but if we were somewhere and, like, but, you know, and, like, my brother ordered a Dr. Pepper, I'd be like, oh, this is somebody's <laughs> birthday? You know what I mean? If you need a Dr. Pepper, you can come down to Ron Smith's garage, oh, and I can guarantee you, you can man. grab one. I, I like love that. It. A guy who yes. makes some money is into sweets, candy, <laughs> yeah. and fucking Dr. Pepper. Oh, yeah. Sounds like my kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Ron Smith is a special one. <laughs> what was the name of the grocery store that your mother went to or your dad went to when you were growing up? Kroger. Kroger. I think that sound, it sounds harsh, but I think that's nah, pretty Kroger's average. real. It's a classy one. Isn't yeah. It? Uh, yeah. But it's not like H-E-B. H-E-B is What's the H- next. I've never even heard of that one. Oh, this kid's checking the boxes. I'm H- telling you that right now. <laughs> Kroger, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what Kroger would be compared to up here. Like. Um, it's not a Whole Foods. It's the kind of like the next step down. Yeah. You know, well, New York's tough. New York's very New York tough. You got to get into the suburbs to really get a good yes. look. It's like Wegmans. Oh, Wegmans is the fucking top of the line. Kroger is like Wegmans. Okay. A lot of oh. limousines parked out in front of Wegmans. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they call them in love- Dallas the $30,000 millionaires in their limos going to Kroger. It's a little bit smaller of a, of a Wegmans type. So okay. H-E-B is the big one down there. That one's like all the meat in the world. Wow. But that's, that's a true, like everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah. Thing. Gotcha. But we were, we were a Kroger family. Kroger, you walk in, you got the bakery there, you got the fresh flowers. Yep. Somebody making sushi. Yep. Okay. Yeah, not but not all, but not day. all the time. Yeah. Sure. Not yeah. all the time. You know, sometimes it would had been sitting there all day, but we would still get it if yeah, it was there. Yeah, the tuna's a little bit brown. Yeah, it's, I love I love supermarket tuna it's, though. I don't know why. I think you like a lot in the supermarket, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, Kroger, it does sound harsh. It's not as harsh as it sounds. Okay. All right. I like it. I Coming up class. So far, I think, I mean, so really? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What? Kroger, Dr. Pepper, garage fridge, Washington Lane. Come on. I didn't know that a, a refrigerator in your garage was classy. Oh, well, yeah. it's. I mean, it's, it's a must. It is actually. We've gone over this a couple times. It is the epitome. It's like it is trash thinking, right? It's because a lot of times it's rarely ever. You guys actually might have. Your dad was doing all right. It was Rarely, a new one. Usually, it's a hand. Usually, down. it's a hand me down. Or the, oh, it, it was the old refrigerator. Yeah, yeah see, it was go. my dad's bachelor refrigerator. Yeah, yes. that's the trash yes. mentality of going. Well, this is big and expensive. I can't throw this out. Plug it in in the garage. Oh yeah, it was a. It was the color of that notepad. It was like a oh, little, you know. Oh, so, that's oh, yeah. pretty trashy. Yeah, I like it, it. But yes, it was. It was the bachelor refrigerator. But we still we do have a newer one there now. Okay, but as long yeah. as it's stocked with sodas, Capri Suns, beers, and stuff like that, that's when you know it's it. it that's garbage. But it's also classy. Does that make sense? Absolutely. You know yeah, I mean? always had his beer in there. Well, actually, I got caught with a 30-pack of Keystone Light in Ooh. high school, which is absolute garbage. <laughs> See, but that's, that's, all, that's all we could garbage. afford, you know, without asking our parents because my parents were not on board with buying me beer. My dad found it in, the, in my car. 
And instead of telling me that he did it, he just put it in the fridge, <laughs> knowing fully well that I would know he did not buy fucking Keystone sure, Light. So sure, then I was sure. grounded after that. But that was his way of telling me. It's like, I'm going to put this in the fridge. And when you go grab your Dr. Pepper, you're going to see you got fucking <laughs> yeah. caught. So there's probably still Keystone in there to this day. No no chance he drank that. That's uh, <laughs> how trashy my, uh, I was in college or high school maybe. And like drinking, I'm from an Irish Catholic fucking family of dirtbags. So drinking <laughs> was like, you know, they kind of just turn their head at 16 a little bit. But I remember I put like a 30 pack or like I had some leftover beers from the night before and they were in the garage fridge and they were Milwaukee's best and Natty Light. Ugh. And I came home College. like two days later and my stepdad was sitting there drinking Natty Light. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what gotcha, are you? Bitch. I'm like, what? Are you? And he had never heard of it. You know, it's like, you know, and he goes, this stuff's pretty good. And I'm Is like, European? I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, that, why, we didn't even want to drink that. Like, that's all we could get our hands on. And from then on, he drank Natty Light. Ooh, he wow. just changed to drink Natty Light. That's, that's trash. That is trash. Yeah. My uncle got heavy in the Keystone for some reason. When, dude, and whenever like, we went to his house, he'd offer you one of those. It'd be about maybe 55, 60 degrees, not even cold. Uh, and you're trying to suck down a Keystone and fucking keep conversation uh, going. Those cheap beers got to be really cold if you want to put uh, them down. Ice or, cold. Or, just, or beer pong. That's the reason yeah. we would get in college. Oh, but yeah. I mean, you could get a 30 pack for like nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Yeah. You know, Texas is cheap. What were the Smith family vacations like? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so every summer we went to a place called South Padre Island, which is at the bottom of Texas. It's, it, beaches in Texas are shitty. Sure. Super shitty. Gotcha. This one is between Texas and Mexico. So it's the nicest one you're going to get. It's still not, not that nice. Great. But we would go every summer. When I was younger, my grandma would come and we would stay for like a month. My dad would go back and forth Damn. to work. Then we got older, got a little bit more expensive. We'd go for a week. One year we went to Maui. And my sister and I hated it because we couldn't boogie board. We wanted to boogie board. <laughs> now we were talking about uh, trash. Yeah, oh yeah. So and, can't and do I, no body surfing. I, I was in seventh grade and she was in fourth grade, so we were still in the we don't give a shit how expensive these. Yeah, places I don't care are. how nice the sunset is. Right, I want like, a fucking boogie. Board. I want a fucking boogie board. I want my dad to drag our tent down to the sand, and I want to sit in the sun all day. So then we went back to South Padre for the remaining time of me being in high school. That was our Damn. big our big vacation every year. It's pretty classy though. The month. But I mean, if you look up South Padre and you, you how old were you when you got your passport? I was a senior in high school. That's, Where'd you go? That's pretty good. To Cozumel for my senior trip. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. All right. Yeah. That's I had never been out of the country until then. Okay. My parents they didn't want to take me out of the country. They knew I was happy in South Padre Island. Yeah. They didn't want to spend no. the money, you know. Boogie boarding. I like it. I just picture her like standing at the terminal to get on the plane with her boogie board. Like, I mean, like, miss, you're going to have to check this, you know? We would have to have the thing on the top of the car, you know, uh, the, what are those things called? The bubble <laughs> the rack. garbage type rack. Thing. Yeah, those <laughs> things, are, those the things are trash. No, the, the thing that, like, the trunk. What were they yeah, called? Yeah, like oh, the big bubble. That's, oh, the, like, I the see white those thing. Things. Yeah. They were like a kangaroo. Uh, it was an animal, wasn't it? It was yes. like a kangaroo or something. Yes, we, my dad would strap that on top of oh. the cart for our boogie boards. We'll load up the Wolverine. Mr. Smith, yeah. what are you doing? You're a fucking, you got a couple of bucks. You're a fine man. But You're doing the bubble on the hood. Oh man. yeah, we were. We had to have the boogie boards. We had to have the, the the lawn chairs. We had to have the whole thing. And every year we would pack that. Well, I would not. My dad would pack that shit up, and we would go to South Padre Island. The oh. bubbles, the bubbles, and the bike rack on the back. Seeing a family go on vacation, well, and that <laughs> one bike wheel's just spinning, spinning. real yes. slow. You're waiting for it to fall off and fucking kill you. Yeah, go right through your windshield. We had the bubble at one point on a fucking. Plymouth Voyager with wood paneling on it. Oh, hell yeah. And I remember it's it was in the... <laughs> You're living there. Dude, it grew up in the... I mean, uh, it, we kept it in behind the house, like outside, and it filled up with water. It was like a pond. I'm like, Mom, what are we... I was like seven, <laughs> being like, yo, toots, clean this the fuck up. That's what prime for a bee's nest, too. Yeah. Oh, God. A couple of tadpoles and shit. Yeah, there. no, Mr. Smith would hang it above the cars in the garage. Yeah, so we, really, we really stored go. it classy. It doesn't yeah. look classy when you're riding down that the road. That is, if you got a good garage storage, like the bikes oh, hanging. Oh, it's organized like and that. stuff oh. like that. It smells like wood in there a little bit. He's got a little little tool bench. shed or tool ah, bench. That's what I was looking at. I don't know. Shit. Nice. Super organized. Still super organized. To this. It's still a fucking garage. How many car garage are we talking about? Two. And you could fit two cars in yes. that garage at all oh, times. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Shout out to Mr. Smith. That's yeah. a that's a fucking proper way to do it. And he we would, had a two, but could only fit the one. That's my, I feel like that's most families. <laughs> yeah. But my dad, my mom's such a shit driver. The tennis ball. The tennis ball. Oh, oh, come on, man. Yeah. The Jesus, tennis. we're back and forth. <laughs> 
the tennis <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to throw you for a gripping episode. Yeah. The, the, I, did, I, I look back. It was defined by taking the chicken fingers home from the country club. Mm-hmm. Like, she is left and right. She can walk in both worlds. I don't know what's going on. I was driving to, driving to school, listening to Lil Wayne with a red bandana, and I was going to play the harp sometimes yeah. at school. You know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm an enigma over here. Were there any um, water sports vehicles owned by the family? No. No jet skis? No, nope, but my next door neighbors did, so uh-huh. we would just use theirs. You would use theirs with them or you would borrow with, them? With them. Okay. They had a lake house, you know, about an hour out, so we any, would go use them. Any time spent on the river? Any, any, any river Like a activities. river house or Not anything. until I got to college. Okay. That's oh, yeah, then I, I floated <laughs> the river a lot in college. Ain't that was nothing a big better thing. than putting a cooler in an inner tube and oh. fucking jumping in. College maybe. had a river, though. That's pretty cool. Well, so it was about an hour or so away, and there's a, a school called Texas State. People only go there to fucking party. Like, <laughs> they can't get into Texas. They can't get into A&M. That's where they're going. But they mm-hmm. have a river that flows through the campus, and they have, like, three-hour floats, <laughs> six-hour floats, nine-hour floats. You go, you have tubes that are coolers with speakers on them. Damn. So <laughs> then you strap yourselves to each other and you just get yeah. fucking obliterated oh, and that's great. your weekend. Dude, that's what fantastic. parent lets their kid go to a school that has a river running right? through the middle right? of it? I would call my parents and I'd say, hey, we're going to go to San Marcos this weekend. And my mom would be like, oh, Jesus Christ, so I hope you don't die. Like, yeah. Yeah, That no was just visiting. Shit, <laughs> Wear your life vest. <laughs> it's like Action yeah. Park South. That's fucking trash. Yeah, no, we, did, we never did it as kids. Now, we did go to a water park called Schlitterbahn. Which is, yeah, Schlitterbahn. Sounds Garbaggio. Yeah, oh, it's big Garbaggio. Yes, um, it ha- the original park used river water oh. as the as thing. And then my parents got over like, you know, we should probably get some chlorine in the mix. Oh, so What the fuck? Yeah, I don't river think, water? Yeah, I don't, it's, it <laughs> was super cold. I used to move logs it down, was, down the river. It was cold as shit, I'll tell you that. But then uh, we got older. I mean, I grew up around Six Flags over Texas and Wet n Wild. So we had season I, passes to I that. I just found out that's too. what it was. It was Six Flags was Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. Six, six, flags six Flags over Texas. Six Flags was all right. I'll tell awesome. you that. We had season passes that growing up. I had a funnel cake every time I went. Ooh, nice. So much so that my first AIM screen name was Funnel Cakes 456. Six. Oh, man. <laughs> man. I had some. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Real you, bad. You missed that. You're too old for this. I don't even name. know what she's talking yeah. about. I'm just nodding my head to, to be polite. Yeah. yeah. Screen yeah. names were. Is that Instant name? Messenger or yeah. something? Yeah. yeah. It was uh, AOL. Yeah. And yeah. then it was. It used to have to be. You had to log on to AOL and then they just separated the Instant Messenger. And when that hit, I mean, oh. it was fucking good night. Away said, messages all day long, son. What does that mean? You were using that in college to hook up with each other. Weren't you guys <laughs> using that back and forth? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you would. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. It was like fucking, you know. Did it was you like have it texting. on your phone? No, no, it was so mainly you go, on your you, computer. So at, you're at the bar all night. You're all drunk. You want to hook up. You have to go back to your room, get on the computer, and see who's up. You gotta do that. I don't know. If, I mean, I don't know if it was mainly like a booty. It was more of like that's how you created a connection with someone. Oh, you're talking like, okay. oh, he added me on AIM or whatever, and you talk, hey, what are you doing tonight? That kind of thing. And then you send an away message that's kind of vague about a guy or a girl that you like. Like if you only. S- suck my ass or something. No, <laughs> like, like, can you imagine if we had away messages now? <laughs> I know. It'd be, like, crazy. Like, it'd be crazy. Or it was like, it was always like uh, song lyrics that were like, Avril kind Lady. of, oh, yeah. it was song lyrics that would try to talk to the person you were trying to hook up with or oh, something, you know. What the fuck? I mean, I, I, it's I, like, are you shit. okay type thing? By the time I got to college, AIM was done. I When I had AOL and some messenger, I was like seventh and eighth grade. So it was like, and, and then obviously throughout high school, but you would put the most emo shit on oh, your away message. Like if yeah. you were sad, a boy broke your heart. You just fired off Avril Lavigne. You fired <laughs> off Ashley Simpson. Yeah. Whatever you could. Yeah, you did. And then and then you started texting. I mean, yeah. yes. You Am heard I more than I was you bargained for? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get the fuck oh, out of here. Oh, I can get. And I, I can, was at a fucking frat party <laughs> doing keg stains after a football <laughs> game. I don't know I what can, you dorks were doing. I can tell you right now, I probably had. Are you more? Than, <laughs> am I more than you bargained for? With like every other uppercase letter, oh, all yeah. the different the fonts. Hearts all the different colors and I just might as well put hey Craig why the fuck don't you like me (laughs) pay attention to me oh my god (laughs) that was big and when I was shout out to Fallout Boy Uh, another big one was the lyrics to Grey's Anatomy. Uh, what was that? What was the uh, what? I've never seen an episode. Either have I met? Do I Um, know you? (laughs) I'm pulling things out of him. No existed. Toby, do you remember that? It was like I've lost more than a friend or something. What was it? I think it was the theme song to Grey's Anatomy. Oh, and it fuck was, no. It was, I've never seen it. I was just told it was Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds my um, Lost more than a friend or something. I was doing push-ups in my room. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I lost it. I had a, I'll keep you my dirty little secret a lot on my away message. Oh, oh, I wasn't even fucking in high school, yeah. so I don't know what I was <laughs> thinking, but I thought it sounded great. Wait, what was your first, the first concert you ever went to? 
Backstreet Boys. Standard. Respectable. Yes. That, that was the first one that I went to on my own volition. I don't know what my parents took me yeah. to when I was younger, but I went to the Black and Blue tour for, Black, for Backstreet Ooh, Boys. Ooh, that was, that was Can't prime. Can't fault that. They yeah. were hot. I mean, they still are. Mine was Jack Wagner. You probably don't even know who Jack uh, Wagner is. I don't know who, I don't that, know is. who that is. <laughs> Sounds was, like a bad poet. He was a soap opera star in the 80s. <laughs> and Jesus. my my cousin loved him. What, was he, what, what did you he, cover? He was on General yeah. Hospital in the 80s. But what was he doing at a concert? He was also a singer. Oh. He, he launched but a music no, he career. <laughs> no. Yeah, he was. He launched a music career. He was on uh, Melrose Place for a little while. If oh. you have to describe his music career by he was on Melrose Place for a while, he was not a singer. <laughs> if you're a soap opera star, dude. you're not a singer. Yeah. You're just flat out not. But my cousin wanted to go, so they drugged me because my mom couldn't find anybody to watch me. So I had to go oh, with man. Them. It was me and all my high school girl cousins when I was like 10 years old. Oh, damn. Pretty good show. Not bad. <laughs> I be don't believe you, you at all. <laughs> <laughs> not even for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, how many people were? It wasn't at a stadium. No, it was at like the Valley Forge Convention Center oh. or something like that. <laughs> And I remember I, it, was, yeah. it was the first time I cried in front of uh, anybody like as I thought I was getting older. I was 10 years old and my cousin was obsessed with this guy. So my mom, they were chasing his van through the parking lot and I started freaking out because they were driving too fast because they wanted to find out what hotel he was staying at. Wait, you were cha- what? Your yeah. mom was involved in chasing down a soap opera star <laughs> at the Valley Forge Convention Center? Yeah, they were Hell trying yeah. They were trying to catch up to his van so they knew where he was oh, going. Your family that. is trash, dude. <laughs> but they, I, 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 mean, I can see if it was like Springsteen or the Backstreet yes. Boys. You're chasing some guy who's going to a fucking Holiday Inn. I ruined the night because I started screaming crying because I didn't want to get us killed. <laughs> They hate playing it real cool, Foley. What were they going to do with you if they caught up to him? Bring yeah. you, I mean, I don't know what they hey, were going to do. Hey, I, I'd like to not hey, think about kid, it. Here's yeah. a bag of pretzels while I go bang this <laughs> fucking guy from this Melrose. Soap place. opera yeah. star. What hey, the kid, fuck? wait in the lobby, will you? Here's a Shirley Temple. Mom's got to yeah. go make a deal. I'm sitting by the ice machine with earmuffs on. <laughs> <laughs> like the scene in Forrest Gump, you're yeah. out there. You just your mama your sure mom. does care about your concerts, boy. <laughs> Damn, fat boy, your mama sure can drive. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Got a picking. It's uh, a bass player or something. Too, yeah. the no, he, he was selling merch for sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's too funny. Mm. Uh, all man, right. Trish. I got one that's kind of now a little bit or at all. I think we might have touched about it when we called in the show. Okay. Uh, brush your teeth in the shower. Absolutely not. Really? No. All right. Why? Why? Take is it that easy. Su- does that surprise you? <laughs> why? Why? Why do you brush your teeth in the shower? I mean, I do it because I'm disgusting. But there I you think go. most people do it for time management. It's only two minutes. It's two minutes, and wh- I, my thing is, if you're brushing your teeth, you can't be doing anything else. That's not necessarily <laughs> true. Get another set of hands in there. <laughs> you do have a. You do have an extra hand. I, I use an electric toothbrush. I don't want to be ah, shocked. You know. Sonicare. Uh, what do you got? Sonicare. Yeah. Very Hot nice. pink one. Okay. Ooh. How often do you change the head on that thing? Well, it's brand new. So, but Norm, when I had the Quip before, because it was a bar stool sponsor, yeah. I change it like every three to four months. Damn. But that was only because they sent us They would send you new ones. Yeah, when you start paying, you get that free merch. They fucking gouge you on those things. Now that I have a Sonic and I have to take care of it myself, that'll probably be a little bit longer. They're like 25 bucks for two of them. Yeah, how often are you supposed to change them? I don't know. I've never changed it. Never. (laughs) My girlfriend's just stepped in and gotten involved. Yeah. She she just recently went and changed them because she she looked at mine and had like the toothpaste. The like a melting yeah. candle. Yeah, you can't be having that. My wife did the same thing. I came home and there was just a new toothbrush. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. No that, taken. At least she's taking care of you guys. I you know, know, for sure. You know? Let's talk the Texas A&M years. Oh, right? You said that's where it's going to get a little dicey. That does get a little dicey. Lay it on us. What do we need to know? Sorority? No. No. Sports? So, no, I worked for the football team. Okay. So I was a, I wanted to be a sports broadcaster since I was a kid. Okay. It's so crazy that you knew what you wanted to do. I'm always baffled by that. That's so cool. That's very classy too. Oh, thank you. So I, uh, you know, the, in Home Alone 2, how Kevin McAllister carries around the talk boy, you know, Uh, yeah. yeah. I had one of those and I would just talk about football into it all the time as a kid. And then in eighth grade, I said, you know, they said in 15 years, where are you going to be? And I said, I would be an ESPN sports broadcaster and I'd be married with kids. I don't want fucking kids and I don't want to get married. So I failed that one. But I was at ESPN at that point. So That's at, crazy, damn, at some point I, I knew what I was doing, but I wanted to go to A&M because my dad went there. I didn't even apply anywhere else. Like we went to home games my entire <sighs> Talk life. Talk about putting it all on red. <laughs> yeah. Like I was yeah. like, this is what I'm doing. Um, so I went and the only way I could get into the sports world because I wasn't good enough to play D1 sports mm-hmm. was to go into like the athletic training program. But gotcha. I also was not an athletic trainer. Like mm-hmm. they weren't letting me. So they were like, well, you can fill Gatorade bottles if you want. I was like, OK. So you did that on the sidelines for Texas a and I did. For That's my pretty awesome. Yeah, That's it was amazing. Cool. So my freshman year, I did that. And then through that, I met people in the athletic department that gave me a job doing like video producing and you know, graphics on the big screen. 
And by the time I graduated, I was um, doing like tailgate reports and I thought it was the coolest fucking thing that ever. Is pretty That's cool. awesome. But I mean, it was like at that point, I thought it was like the end all be all for me. But I, I went to A&M solely because I loved it so much. I didn't really have a plan of how to become a sports broadcaster. It just kind of fell in my lap. And people along the way were like, she's a fuck up. Like my sophomore year, I think I got so <laughs> drunk. I like passed out in the, the office of the production studio. <laughs> and, and my boss at the time was like, we're going to give you one more shot. And then like years later, she was like, holy shit. Like you really, yeah, I, was awesome. like, yeah, I just got drunk Took a lot. Took that one more shot and really yeah. ran with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, A&M Greek life is not big at all. So going into a sorority fraternity is not that big of a okay. deal. I'm impressed working the Gatorade because I played division three football and that impressed the shit out of me the gatorade setup we had was awesome i can't imagine oh. what you had at texas a and m's popping uh, I mean, a lot of oil money down there yeah a lot of oil money i'm surprised it took you 38 minutes to bring up that you played d3 football to be <laughs> got honest. it in there though yes. because of that without even sports related <laughs> guesses he sneaks it in in the first three minutes <laughs> which that school? came up organically what it did which school uh, Widener University. I have no idea where that is. Fair enough. Bingo. Moving along. We're going to cut that out. <laughs> and neither, we'll be back after these words. Neither did he, to be honest with you. <laughs> Sounds great, though. Congratulations. Um, it was a good time. I yeah. love the fact, too, that you thought, you know, to see people succeed in the field, it's like you thought I when you were doing the tailgate, you know, remotes or whatever. Yeah. Like, this is the end all be all, and you were so happy to do it. That's how you same, know you really wanted to do something. Well, same really thing with us. Like, I remember, like, being like, you're going to pay me a hundred bucks to drive three hours to do comedy and right? you're going to give me chicken fingers? Mm-hmm. Like, fucking hell yeah, I want to do that, you know? It's the, when people, like, quit when they're having to do that, it's like you didn't actually really want to do, do that. Of course, so, yeah, 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 so that uh, that was, it was, a, it was a grind. But, That's I mean, awesome. A&M, uh, basically, when I went to school, I started to rebel against everything that my parents had wanted me not to do. So I started sleeping around, drinking a whole bunch. Uh, and I just, I mean, I was just blacked out for like three years. I think. Sure. That's college. That's college, yeah. though. I'm not yeah. going to hold that against now, you. And that doesn't make you, you know, yeah, everybody. That's do you still go college. back there for like, for like homecoming and shit like that? No, I do have a, I own a house there. So really? I own do. A home? I That's own it. a home. Check, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, but College Station is, is super cheap. I mean, it's outside of Houston, but it's, I, the house that I lived in, right after college because when I was working for ESPN I was based out of College Station Okay, but like I flew all over the country for games nice so I was like well why not just stay here my boyfriend at the time was there so I just I woke up one day in the house I was living in one of my guy friends owned it I was like I fucking hate these decorations and I was like I'm just gonna buy this house from you and so I bought it, redid it, and so I still own it now, but I never go back. Damn. What would you do with the dude that was living there? Told him to beat it? Yeah, we did it for six years and then I moved to Boston and he didn't want to move with me and I was like well then Good riddance. Yeah. Wait, that was the guy that owned the house. No, that, that was a that was a guy friend that I oh, wanted okay. to buy the house from. But I I rent it out now, but I never go back to AM. I don't usually go back to Texas. Like the only time I go back is for Christmas. Gotcha. I'm not, I'm you not, didn't go there for Thanksgiving? No. I cro- feel like coronavirus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. coronavirus. If, but if not, you would have went. No, so normally we're on the road for college football. Ah. So I don't ever go home for Thanksgiving. Yeah, normally we're working. I don't Thanksgiving to me is not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah. Fair but enough. no, but I, I when I I told Kevin and John that I would not tell you guys his story because I know what this is going to do to my garbage oh, ranking. God. Ship it. Shh, tweet the deets. So w- in one of those blackout years of A&M, I went to a Lil Wayne concert. <laughs> oh, boy. Actually, I think strap it was. In. I, yeah, strap it. Toby, I, get I, ready to cut and print this. I, <laughs> Marty and Ron, take the, go grab a smoke or yeah, something yeah. like that. You should go watch our Nutcracker videos <laughs> from when we were dancing ballet. Go check out the garage. Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> go tune that harp, will you? Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, yeah, real. Yeah, you go. So uh, it, I think it actually wasn't just Lil Wayne. I think it was like all of the Young Money label uh, at young the time. Money. Oh, oh, young man. Money Cash Money, baby. Oh, yeah, YMCB. for sure. Look this, out. This, this, is, um, this was like one of the first concerts that I went to that was outside in college. What where, year is this? I'm sorry. 2008, Ooh, probably. The height to, to, yeah, of 2008. Lazy. Carter three oh, yeah. has just oh. dropped. Oh. Lil Wayne's yes. my favorite rapper all, all I mean, time. Do you want to get married right now? I mean, people say, he, people say he's washed. No, I, I, I mean, like I said, I was listening to the Hot Boys like behind my my parents back whenever yeah. like Lil Wayne became a thing so we went to this concert and it because it was outside you know we smoked joints and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever so I'd never been able to just smoke in public especially sure, in Texas sure. like, you can't you can't do that Lil Wayne still. concerts like you oh, know, yeah. waters yeah. Um, yeah. do whatever yeah. the fuck it's a little oh, yeah. different talk about yeah. fast and loose with the yes. fucking <laughs> public intoxication <laughs> 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 I mean just and I, I think I was one in my group of friends I was there was like I think 15 of us I was one of two white kids that went, and I'm blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, just trying to fit in. Definitely not fitting in at all. Standing out like a sore thumb. She's got the band aid on her face. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I was, I was doing everything. I think I was wearing like Wayne's face across yeah. my chest and everything. But 
Um, I got so high and I was so happy. I was like, you know what we need to do? Oh, we God. need to go back to College Station and we need to get tattoos. Uh, and I told my friends in the car, I said, listen, <laughs> don't talk me out of this. Like, I'm high. I'm drunk. Do not talk me, me out of this. Please tell me you have a little Wayne tattoo. Almost, <laughs> almost. So I, oh, I get there. Little way. So <laughs> your mom ran in. Yes. Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> you know how to play the harp. <laughs> yeah, you dance ballet your whole life. Um, I so I went, I went to the tattoo parlor, and I mean, I was adamant oh. to my friends, like, do not fucking stop me from doing this. I want this, and I am not kidding you. From my bra strap down to like right where my jeans would be, I had Young Money in cursive stenciled down my rib cage ready to go ready to go oh, I'm, I'm laying on the table holy shit God. i'm laying on the table and like i said i was so happy and so hot <laughs> i was just like this is the best decision i've ever made in my entire life and i'm laying there and the tattoo artist just and again it, yeah, it's college station texas like they don't give a shit they're sure. only tattooing drunk yeah. college kids you're all about I, yeah. It, yeah and i saw him kind of turn to one of my girlfriends and turn back and i was like no one fucking stop me and she just was like, I'm sorry, you're going to hate me. You can't fucking get this tattoo. You can't do it. And I was yeah. like, no, I'm getting this tattoo. And she's like, Casey, if you still want it tomorrow, we won't wash off the stencil. We can come back. And he was like, I will do it tomorrow morning. I woke up the next day and bought her <laughs> breakfast. But I kept the stencil yeah, on fuck yeah, for, a for, a, for a little while. But I mean, I was so dead set on it. And it was gigantic. Oh, I mean, all the way down. God. And so when I, as soon as I told that story at Barstool, they're like, yeah, you're fucking trash. Damn. I also I also had my tongue pierced at the time too, so I don't know if that. Who's that friend? That doesn't help. Still friends with her? Yeah, I am. I am. Her name is Blair. It's pretty good. Shout That's, out Blair. Shout out Damn. to Blair. Shout, shout out, out to Blair. Blair. Yeah, no big but, ups. But I she, I she, hate Blair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So does everybody at Barstool. In fact, speaking of tattoos in Barstool, you could, after, that would, that, you could be a completely different person if you got that tattoo. It, my you whole would, life would have changed. It was, yes, it would have been butterfly effect. Yeah, I mean, just all the way down. You would have been in the lazy river or something. Yeah, <laughs> I had the, the T-Mobile sidekick, you know, and I was clicking away while I, had a, I was I had laying the on the slide. tattoos. I had yes. the sidekick slide. Oh, oh yeah, very trash. So trash. I wanted it because Lil Wayne said, "Call me when you want, bitch. Call me on." my sidekick i was like i gotta get a fucking i sidekick. got a sidekick for that exact yeah, same reason yeah for sure and yeah. my buddies my buddies would all go look at kevin call me when you want call me on my sidekick and you get real mad or maybe you didn't i was an angry texter and i'd flip it around and just well i had the slide my slide pushed it back up. down my, i had the one oh. that went straight up i had so like had, the second generation you had the one. poor one no that was the new one that came <laughs> out oh I, I thought the flip one. one was the good no one. that was the original and then the sleeker one that came out was oh. the slide the well, slide kick the as we one. called it in the streets huh? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta i gotta check out this little wayne's music and find out <laughs> yes. what this gentleman's all about yes yeah you, you, the kids seem to love them yeah him more and Cool Mo D, you can check out. At more the same of a time. Steve Miller band than <laughs> yeah. myself. I got my. What was your yeah, What was your General <laughs> Hospital singer's <laughs> name? I got a big Jack Wagner tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Your mom's all tatted up. It says John like a Wagner. Little, a little van. I actually got my got my tongue pierced because of Lil Wayne because of lick me like a lollipop. Jeez, oh, I know trash. I'm telling you, super trash. Your dad chain smoking cigarettes. Right now. <laughs> Yeah. Come here, Dr. Dad. Pepper, will you? I, yeah. Look, I turned out fine, though. We're good. We're yeah. good. I was working for ESPN for a while. That's classy. <laughs> but yeah, that, that. So now when we talk about tattoos all the time. So actually, right when I leave this studio with you two fine fellas, three fine fellas, I'm going back to the Barstool headquarters because we are getting tattoos from an amateur tattoo artist tonight. What? What? Why? I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah. So no, that's well, trashy. It is well. I'm I'm not gonna get a big one. I'm gonna get a little tiny smiley face. But have you heard of the show we do called Lowering the Bar? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Vibs yeah, yeah. is giving tattoos tonight. Oh my god, John! <laughs> I, 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 it's the worst idea ever. John Feidelberg bought a tattoo gun on Amazon. I love that. Over quarantine. That guy Feidelberg, it, you're fucking trash. That guy man. plays it fast and <laughs> loose. Yes. Yeah, so he, he... I love him. So he's he, literally my favorite. He, he's, he's my best friend on the planet. I fucking hate him. Um, he bought it for $100 off of Amazon. I like how he lowballed it. Too. He went for the cheap one. The cheap one. Like, he said it was the most expensive one, which I just do not believe. No you gotta make sure that's clean and stuff so like that. we do have a tattoo artist coming to the make sure we don't overseas. kill each other. Yeah, yeah He's not gonna touch us, but... Uh, and John is apparently getting a cartoon on him. And all these people are getting big tattoos. I thought, I just want a little tiny smiley face. But they they were trying to convince me to get the actual Young Money tattoo tonight. Uh, I will not do it. I will not do it. Where are you getting the smiley face? I haven't. You guys, why don't you guys decide? <sighs> now, not on my face, yeah, for sure. Clearly. It should be. Not a, <laughs> not a face it. game. Conceal yes. it. I mean. You guys, I'm going to make it as small as possible. Uh, inside your lip. See, I would say that normally too, but I don't want an amateur doing that. Uh, that feels uh, like true, but those go away. I, after I, a I have months. the word "shit" tattooed on my body. Yeah, and ribs are great 
on the side because you right cover you can cover it with a bra or yeah. whatever a swimsuit will cover it or okay. you can show it off if you want it's the best place to why do it. Why do you it. have shit tattooed on you? And why are you wearing bikinis? To sh- <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why, why my bathing suit? Why, why, why didn't we hear about this in the interview process? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't have hired you if I knew you were inked up like a fucking pagan. <laughs> you know that's a sin. This ain't the Hell's Angels guy. <laughs> yeah, we I'm a, Jewish for Christ's sake. <laughs> we run a classy operation. Uh, me and my buddies used to run a show called Shithole. And, oh, okay. and my buddy Kevin was like, I'm going to be the first one to get the tattoo. And I got hammered, and my roommate did stick and poke tattoos. So I did it just to fuck oh, my buddy. Oh, stick and poke. Yeah, it was bad. Oh, drunk Never t- get a, drunk tattoos, man. Never yeah. get a tattoo from a roommate that doesn't <laughs> like you. <laughs> bad idea. Never get Not a tattoo good. from Confirmed a roommate. Confirmed bad. Stop <laughs> this. I mean, I'm, we're doing it just at Barstool's headquarters, which is disgusting That's in the first awesome. place. So, But, that, I mean, that is super trashy. That is. But they wanted me to get young money, and I just I refuse. I'm you grown get up like now. A, you could get like a like a tiny like YMC. I can't or, even do you know, that because no. you know. It's, I mean, I feel like if I do that, it's like reversing. Like I'll go backwards. Sure. That was thirteen. I would years love ago. to know the sidekick comes back out. <laughs> yeah. With the super long nails again. Yeah. I would love to know you Ew, that got you the super tattoo. Super long nails. Uh, Fake I think ones? for a little bit, yeah, but just for a little bit. Like I think for like a week because I couldn't do anything. And I play the harp. You have to have short nails. Sure. <laughs> you know, I, I the young money tattoo. Awesome. And yeah, the, harp, the young money. Go, Dude, go well what is this? This is crazy. I know. It's, I think you might be like the proper coin flip 50-50 garbage class. I feel like that. I mean, honestly, I was hoping for that because if you were guys like, oh, no, you're totally garbage. Like, God, my parents lied mm. to me my entire life. We did dance uh, in the Nutcracker every single year. I'm going to start trying to make me, myself classier after my Young Money tattoo was story. It, was it the Nutcracker? Yeah, but proper that's your or was mo- it like the hip-hop version it was of the, the Nutcracker? It was the Dallas-Fort Worth. The, the Lil Wayne the, edition. <laughs> the Chopped yeah, no. and Screwed remix of the Nutcracker. <laughs> Although that kind of sounds just fucking yeah. sick. That's pretty hot. Um, no, Portnoy, I, get on it. <laughs> I actually danced for the, the the real ballet company of Dallas-Fort Worth. And my my ballet instructors were from Russia. They danced in the Bolshoi Ballet. Yeah. So I danced in the Nutcracker growing up. Every Christmas it was at the Bass Hall in Fort Worth. You're like an undercover cop. I know. Right? Who's in too deep. I, yeah. know, I, don't I don't know who, who you are I anymore. She's, I don't know who I am. She's calling the stars. They're going to make me get a young money cash money <laughs> tattoo. You know, and so many of these stories were like buried Deep, deep within, because when I was working in network TV, you can't yeah, say you anything. You know, you gotta hide it. Now, I got Barstool, they're like, yeah. like, they're like, yo, hey we're guys. gonna tattoo each other's face. We need contact tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and and yeah. we let Feidelberg know that the most expensive tattoo gun on Amazon is seven hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? It's not even close. He went for the Amazon deal of the day. <laughs> Guarantee you, he was so fucked up he doesn't remember buying. Feidelberg was getting I mean, loose on Cyber Monday. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, he. He is honestly like so. I've I've been to his family's house, one of their houses in Massachusetts. I have no clue how he turned out the way he did. Mm-hmm. I yeah, mean, that's at least you can kind of see with me. There's some sure. You know, you still a, yeah a little bit of it left with my parents. He's that's just, nature versus nurture right there. He yeah. is pure garbage. Hey, well, yeah, man, <laughs> garbage. He, that guy. Love him. Yeah. Um. All right. I got I got two for now. Okay. Right. Okay. Currently, if we were go we were gonna go over to your apartment right mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. uh, and we asked for some water. What would you give us? Would it be out of the sink? Would it be a Brita, a bottle? What are we doing? I would give you a bottle of water mm-hmm. because we are sponsored by Body Armor at uh, Barstool Sports, so I keep that stocked for Okay. People. Yeah. That's pretty good. Cold? Cold. Is Other your refrigerator, refrigerator pretty organized? It has to be. Okay. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to that. Nice. I have a very tad bit of obsessive compulsive disorder. When okay. you eat dinner, do you eat dinner at home at, a, at the kitchen table? Or do you eat in front on the couch in front of the TV? Depends on how depressed I am at the time. Nice. But I have a little breakfast bar that sometimes I sit at. But breakfast most of the time, bar. most of the time I sit on my couch. But I have one of those like uh, it's not a TV tray. Oh, it's not they a, are trash. I did have a TV tray <laughs> oh. growing up. Bottle of hot it, sauce wait, on as, it. As kids, you oh, would eat yeah. at TV trays. Well, we would eat at the kitchen table unless my parent, you know, we had babysitters mm-hmm. over, or if it was just my dad. Oh. If my mom was out of town, we had the TV and trays you, out. Yeah, oh, break yeah. those things out. Oh, put yeah. a little TV on. Oh yeah. Still food from the last. Meal clean already. living uh, no, right they, there. Uh, the, the meals where you have to like rip the plastic off. Oh, uh, the TV, like TV, TV dinners. dinners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. When my dad, when my mom was out of town, my dad it was, was <laughs> living it up. <laughs> living it up. Dr. Breakfast. Pepper's for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast for dinner yes. and shit like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Clean oh, yeah. Whatever. Hot, we love the hot dogs with the cheese in the middle, the Oscar <laughs> Mayer. I was just <laughs> fucking talking about that. That's what An Oscar Mayer cheese dog is the epitome of deliciousness. It's Dude, so fucking good. I had one in the last year and they still hold up. They're fucking. Really? 
Really? Oh, oh I've had them. It's like an I've episode had, yeah. of Family Ties. Yeah. Still okay. I throw two I of them mean... in the microwave for the button in my mom's house. It's easy minute. <laughs> Good night. See, we I liked them boiled growing up, which oh, is pretty gross. Boiled's yeah, boiled's tough. All right. you yeah, know, boiled's tough. I grilling them to me. I didn't like the charred sides. Of it. I was Ooh, like, fuck really? that. I now as an adult, I like things grilled, but yeah. I wanted to boil those babies. What do you think is the trashiest way to cook a hot dog? We we've discussed that on the podcast. I think microwave, right? Microwave, okay. Yeah, you have to like wrap it up in a paper towel and then no. What? I would just put them on paper plates. Oh. Yeah, throw them on a yeah. paper plate. No, Let them explode. Yeah, I'm, no, he you. cooks them in the toaster oven like a psychopath. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to cook a hot dog. You got a toaster oven and you got to spiralize it. It'll what change. The fuck? It. It'll sounds, change. sounds so It'll Chicago when he says your it life. Too. I don't even know how to do I, that. I, I've had toaster ovens my whole entire life, that, and I've eaten she hot dogs. She doesn't own a toaster weekly. oven. Do you you have don't a have a toaster oven. No, there's oven. one at Barstool, though, so I could try yeah, it. Yeah, that's insane. But I'm just saying, I've eaten 10,000 Oscar Mayer cheese dogs <laughs> in my life, and I've made them next to the toaster oven, and never once has it crossed my mind to put it in there. How do you spiralize a fucking hot dog? I don't you, know. you take a You take a knife. Any knife will work. Butter knife, <laughs> okay, steak okay. knife, serrated, knife, straight whatever blade, you whatever you got. And you just you just cut at an angle, not not so deep that you split it, but just you just and you spin the dog, and then when it cooks, it kind of expands a little bit, so the you get the inside crispy and the outside crispy. It's unbelievable, total game changer. It's the only way to go. That seems insane. like a waste of time. That's I'll insane. be in the microwave yeah. if you need. <laughs> yeah. me. I'll, boil I'll be it. done in a I'll minute, boil it. easy minute. That's I'll it. Boil it. That's how that's how you make a snack a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, and then I got one more. Um, if you could, if you're going out and you're going to buy a chocolate bar, what kind of chocolate bar are you buying? Are you going high end? You going low? What is it? I like dark chocolate, like as dark as you can possibly okay. get. It's classic. Like ninety, yes. like ninety. 90. Yeah. I like sea salt. ninety. What little brand? sea salt little on there? Sea salt. Um, I'm not. I like the the Whole Foods brands. Okay. Like I don't really necessarily have a brand I'm for sure going to buy. Um, I'm not a huge candy person. Okay. So don't take um, after the old man. I see. No, no, my like when so we used to pretend like we were gonna give things up for Lent every yeah, year, even yeah, though we, we weren't Catholic. Too, yeah. We, yeah. Never gave up we shit. weren't Catholic. I don't know what I, I don't. But my dad would always give up soda and candy, and I'd have to give up like cheese hot dogs and yeah, shit. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but just any dark chocolate, really. But like, I don't have a specific brand. Yeah, Is so. Whole Foods your primary supermarket now? Trader Joe's. Trader Ooh, Joe's. Yeah. I like it. Again, she's right there in the middle. It's, it's kind of trashy, but it's awesome too. Yes, like Justin's uh, peanut butter cups, the dark chocolate yeah. peanut oh butter. Those God, are fucking they're delicious. So fucking good. But night. Trader Joe's has like the little miniature ones that come in the tub. Game over. Trader Joe's, I said they kill it on all fronts because they have yes. shit. They have pre-made stuff that's not really pre-made, but they do the thinking for you. Right, exactly. So yeah, no. <laughs> what are you in their marketing department? <laughs> I'm telling Trader you, Trader Joe's. Man. Is, they, is that a read this? We well, went to the one at Columbus Circle, oh, fucking right before Thanksgiving. Got all hooked up, and it's cheap. It's nuts. It's so fucking cheap. You go to like a D'Agostino's in the city, you're paying like $10 oh, man, for a box get, of cereal. They get you, it's like 14 bucks for pasta at that place. <laughs> yeah, no. They get you coming and going. No, Trader Joe's is my go-to. I will actually go out of my way to go to a Trader Joe's even, you know, if I could just go to like a local store for something, I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I'm going to Trader Joe's. Okay. All right, let me ask you this. Do you sleep now with a fan directly on you? Yes. You do? What kind yes. of fan? Man. One of those, well, it's across the room though. That's not okay. It's not on your face. No, 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 no. So it's directly across from it's one of those big box fans. Now, not over a the box winter. box fan? No, not a box. The the big silver ones. The circular silver ones. What like are they the stand-up ones? No. It's not a Dyson or anything. No, no. It's down on the ground, but it's like the big one that I like, know you like you're display. About. Oh, yeah. really? You have yeah. one of those? So the only reason I That's have like one of those. That's like dorm room shit. Yeah. The only reason I have one of those is because, so I live in a co-op. And the guy who owns my apartment last year, you remember when there was the blackout and yeah. like everything went to shit? Sure. My air conditioning went out and he lives in France. And so instead of having like somebody come fix my air conditioning, he was like, well, there's a blackout. People are backed out. Here's this fucking fan. And I was like, are you serious? So I went and stayed with one of my friends. But then I realized that it actually puts out a nice amount of air. Fan's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah. So I have it across my bedroom, but I only do that during the summer. And the winter, I just sleep with the window open. Yeah. Who are you? You are a I, mystery. I don't know. A trashy <laughs> fan lives in a co-op owned by a guy who lives in France. I don't know. What, I don't know what to do with that. Twenty-four hour doorman too, and a pool, rooftop, the whole thing. You got to do it. But I will say the fan looks nice though. It's not a shitty one. Uh huh. It's like one that you know. If you it's can, the one I'm thinking of, it's like something they use for like high school productions to like make the snow go or something like that. Maybe it's a it's a regular fan, but it has like a little a little hinge on it. Yeah, that like sits on up. the floor. Yeah, but it's big yeah. and it's like silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's metal. So I used it's to like have one. It was made by Atlantic Breeze. <laughs> Atlantic. I that's now, what it was. I, had I don't know one. what brand I mean, it yeah. is. I didn't bring that with me though. That that, that was, was that was gifted by my landlord. the owner of yeah. my 
my okay. apartment. But yeah, oh. it was kind of a piece of shit moved. I mean, it was like 70 or it was like uh, it went away, like last July. It was really, really fucking hot uh-huh, for a while. Yeah. That was right when it happened. And he just was like, no, I'm not going to fix it for a little bit. But, you know. The French. But, Who needs them? Yeah. But I, I do have a, I do have a fan, though. So huh. Huh. what about the pillow situation? How many pillows are you rocking when you sleep? Uh, on my bed, I have seven pillows. Okay. But I sleep with only four on the bed. Okay. Well, I have t- de- I have two decorative pillow or two, you know, the the front cover pillows. Sure. I don't even know what they're called. Which will tell me, and then a decorative pillow. I take those off mm-hmm. at night before I go to bed. What's the sleeping positioning with the pillows? How many behind your head? Uh, two behind my head, and then I like to like maybe hug one if I'm sleeping by myself. All right. What about one one between your legs? No, I like to do the the comforter between my legs. Ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just kind of you know twist around. I having sheets that are too tight, not for oh, me. Oh, dude, not they me. tuck you in at a hotel. Oh, I hate to tuck. Yeah, it's like give That's me the fuck never. out of here. Two tucks, never. one no tuck. Yeah, yeah, no, love, never, love to never. But I, I do have Buffy pillows if that helps at all. I don't know if you guys know. That's Buffy. pretty. Oh, what's Buffy? Buffy? Buffy. It's like a. They're made by like eucalyptus Ooh. And so instead of like cotton. Oh, so I've breathe. heard about yeah. that. Your Instagram will have it tonight because yeah, I'm my, talking about my it. My fucking so. wife was telling me about those. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, actually, yeah. I do highly recommend. No free ads, but they, I, my entire bed, my comforter, everything is in them. Stunning. Down comforter. Yes. Duvet. Yes. Do you make your bed every day? Every single morning. Wow. It's the first That's thing the I do OCD, when I get up. I can tell. It is. You're very put together. You're yeah. very calculate it's very if you go into my apartment and it it's a sign that my depression and anxiety is out of control if Mm -hmm. my bed is not made and if my suitcase is not unpacked that is something i have to do like as soon as i get home i could be gone for two months i have to unpack Hmm. and then i have to make my i mean that's the first thing that i do when i get up and i have a gravity blanket too because you know the anxiety Uh, so i even fold that up nicely on the bed too how how heavy 15 pounds but i I don't like it on my legs because like i said i don't like when my legs are restricted so I place it all right on my chest. Yeah. Unless I have a, a male friend over, then I'm not sleeping with a an anxiety suitor, blanket. That yeah. would be. And wait, a gravity blanket does what? It makes you the, feel like you're getting a hug? No, it's the weighted blanket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like it, it on pressure. my legs because I get crazy legs at night. Oh, really? That's all the anxiety <laughs> comes out my legs. I slept with it last night. I told my wife, I said, where's the heavy? Like a marathon where's runners. the heavy, John? I got a, I got the crazy legs. Do you share one with her? It's hers, but she doesn't always use it. Like you're not both underneath it. No, no. Okay, it would, would just be one. Why, she, we have the 30 pound. We got the heavy. We're talking heavy bike. <laughs> we got the 30 pound and I fold it in half and then I put it on top. So it's all on top of me. That's what I do. I need to feel like they're burying me, dude. Yes. That's the yeah. only way I can get some shut eye. Real, yeah, real cool sure. kid over here. <laughs> yeah. Drown me in this yeah. blanket. Please. Too much coffee. <laughs> do you do you still booze now? Oh, yeah. When was the last time you did a keg stand? Uh, this summer. <laughs> See, there we go. Wow. What this the summer. fuck? I ha- Duvet I mean, covers and gangsters. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't I mean, know what's this, going on this, here. This summer, I mean, I, I I mentioned it earlier, and the only reason I keep bringing him up is because you guys know how trashy is. John is my best friend, so uh, there you go. so I I do party with him quite often, but um, we did we. Did keg stands and mushrooms over the summer one weekend. Um, I'm a huge beer pong fan. Love a good love, love a good it. game of beer pong. So I get in that at any point. Um, we used to do keg stands. So the, the house that I have in College Station, all of my friends from college, we would do a reunion. And I have a pool in the backyard. And we would do keg stand, like, bull riding. Yeah. You know, we would, it would, it would empty it out, throw it in there, and see who could stand on the, sure. the keg stand. Oh, my first. God. That's yeah. garbage. Yeah, Super we've done garbage. that, too. Super garbage. You throw the Ooh. keg in the pool and... You try know, to ride it. Try to ride it. Try yeah. to do underwater keg stands. You're floating around. Yeah. We, we and were I, too busy taking that shit back trying to get that deposit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, keg, definitely a keg stand this summer. Yeah. This wow. is, I'm fantastic at it, by the way. I'm Jeez. just absolutely fantastic. This is a real this is a real niche one. Okay. Uh, you said beer, beer, big beer pong. Big beer pong. Three cups left. What's your rack? Are you going? Diamond. Yeah. I mean, or triangle, I mean. Yeah. Triangle? Yeah. Two one. I'm a Two triangle one. man. Trash. That stoplight what bullshit. Are you, you Get stoplight out of here. Bo- bo- Bozo's all class. No. no. Bozo buckets all no, class. No, 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 no. You do the triangle. And if you have four left, I will do the diamond you do every the, time But too. I always wait to get to the three. Yes, I agree. Um, also, too, a new thing that I was playing with, like, my cousins who are, like, younger, like, significantly younger. They're probably, like, early 20s over the summer. And they do the reverse tri- an upside down oh, triangle. No. What? So the... The one is it's two in the front and one in the back. Absolutely not. And I'm like, they're like, they're like, give me a triangle. This is and I nerd did talk. It. I don't know what they're you like. Guys are reverse about. triangle. I'm like, what? Is, what is this? The nexus of the universe? Get and out the, of here. And the diamond, also diamond, pure trash. You got to go rhombus on its side. Bozo that's bucket, two also, on the side. That's also that's fucking ass. new money bullshit. Get yeah, out of here. That is We're new playing money fucking street rules, with, dude. With, <laughs> one re rack <laughs> and you go triangle. <laughs> hit the fucking brick. Can you can you finger and blow? You can blow. Hey, it's a family uh, show we, here. We, we do girls can blow, bounce, or obviously swat. 
No, we, we don't got do guys finger. Can't finger. What the fuck no. are you guys talking Damn. about? Yeah. Nope. That's a sexist thing, you know. No we, goaltending. You guys are out of your fucking mind. No, you could you could only you could only blow the once the ball was in the cup. And like you can't blow it before. You know, you gotta just just the tip for a second. Yeah, no, we play uh, jail, you know, jailhouse rules. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, if you, dude, if you're taking a fucking stoplight, get out of yeah, my face. get out of here. Toby, you're fired. That's it. Listen, gotta, <laughs> get him his fucking walking yeah. papers. I I'm never going to look at you the same. I guarantee you we could beat his ass in beer pong Let's right go. now. Let's <laughs> go. Go get a thing of solo cups. Yeah. Oh, damn. But yes, catch just in this summer. Yes, I know. Oh, good good game of beer Let's get out of here. Go do some cake stands, everybody. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? As long as it's Natty Light. I Call don't, up Feidelberg. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Uh, he's up at the office right yeah, now, probably like... drunk as shit, waiting for his tattoo. <laughs> All right. You we know got you're a not couple supposed more... to get fucking tattoos while you're drunk, by the way. Because yeah. they're blood stained. They're blood stained, yeah. I know. Well, um, he does a lot of things that are bad for his body. Uh, couple more questions here. We're going to let you get out of here. Okay. Um, Kippy, you want to go? Yeah, I got one. Uh, you're at your local mall. It's dinner time. You know, maybe not New York, but, you know, in you know a proper suburban mall. Okay. Food court. You're food at the court. food court. Talking food it's court It's dinner choices. time. Where are you going? Is there a Chick-fil-A available? There is. There's wow. whatever you want in a proper, you know. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Love a good Chick-fil-A. Either that or the Chinese food that gives out the free orange juice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, love it, love that. Always but uh, I, if I can there. get Chick Fil A in a situation like that, that's I'm gonna do that nine out of ten. Do you go to the Chick Fil A in New York ever? No. If we get it ordered to the office, I'll eat it. But mm-hmm. it's just not. I'm I'm not gonna go out of my way for it. It doesn't taste the same as it does in the South. I uh, yeah. Hmm. yeah. I don't you guys know if get I've lunch ever had over there. The South. Do they order lunch for you over there? No. Sometimes. I know. Oh, I Sometimes. Have Sometimes. Every once in a while. We do get a lot of free pizza because of Dave, obviously. Ooh, like all the, the one bite, you know, fuck. a lot of free pizza. Wait, you got to start doing pizzas or something. something. Man. We got to get some yeah. fucking free from some free Zaz coming in here. That was all I ever wanted to, in the entertainment business, work at a place where they where they got you lunch. That is pretty classic. It's real yeah. classic. We you do get... have like a, a great snack bar. For free? Yeah. Like bagels and muffins and stuff? No, no. like fucking Cinnabons and... What? Yeah, we got... Cinnabons? Lo- lots of uh, chips and really all the trash. And now you're speaking a big man's language. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're Fuck talking. Fuck a pizza. Give me some oh, snacks. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Beer pong, red lights or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking fucking Cinnabon, yeah. baby. Yeah. No, European. We, we got We have all that the trashy snacks at Barcelona. They're gone as, as soon as they're put out yeah. because we're a bunch of savages. Love but it. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Have you ever operated a t-shirt gun? No. <laughs> But you know what? I want But that to. would be occupational. So True. She wouldn't be just doing it with her friends. I have <laughs> shot actual guns. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I grew up, you know, in the south. south you know? Ron no. keeps a piece down at the house? Yeah. His, so his thing was he was always like, if somebody breaks into my house, I can't <laughs> uh, save my, my wife and two daughters if I don't have one. Now, I have Unless no, I got I have, a little nickel on me. Yeah. I have no clue where the gun in the house is. I still to this day do not. But my grandfather used to take us out and shoot on the range. I've never gone hunting or anything like that. But my grandfather used to take us out. So hmm. we wouldn't be scared of them. So if yeah. we did ever come across them, now I live on the East Coast and I'm a little bit, I feel a little bit differently about that. But you know, yeah, yeah, you, know, it's, yeah. Uh, you grew up that way. Uh huh. I get it. No t-shirt guns. I don't know where the fuck I would have shot a t-shirt gun. That was um, my last shot. I got nothing else. Anything in your house right now? Say live, laugh, love. No. No tchotchkes. No. Beanbag chair. No. You have a rumba. No. Roomba. Swiffer. Roomba. Yes, but so, I don't. I don't use it very often because somebody cleans my apartment. Damn, that's what I was gonna ask you. You got a cleaning? You got a cleaning service? Uh, his name is Angel, and he's great. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna say I'm done, and I'm gonna say you're 100 percent classy. <gasps> that's what I'm, I'm saying right now. I am so honored. Now, I'm not saying there's not blemishes, but we all <laughs> we all have a past. So you're, not, you're the, not running for Congress or anything like that. So the young money tattoo story didn't didn't push you over. That didn't push me over. I love you that were close. I didn't, I didn't get it. You know, you have to thank for that. Yeah. Blair. Blair. Oh, yeah. Shout out I, to Blair. I, I, I She's, she, will she be in the wedding party if you got married? No, she would definitely be invited, though. But I don't want to get married ever. OK. You know, we haven't stayed in contact as much. I mean, we still are friends, but uh, you're like Vietnam buddies. Yeah. You know, if we were around each other, we would relive the old times. Mm, but maybe we do a cake stand or something. Definitely. Yeah. Probably a drink a lot of hypnotic we love to oh, yeah. man. Yeah. any and big, hypnotic big, call hypnotic. the incredible Hulk, baby. <laughs> hold on <laughs> i'd like to recant my statement <laughs> but that, that was you're in, like, too that was nice in, that was in 2009 nice. that was in 2009 you say she's trash i'm saying she's she's got angels she's got cleaning service i'm Fucking saying she's, i'm saying she did a cake stand within the calendar year come on but it was on vacation it doesn't matter <laughs> i was in mexico i haven't it done was... a cake stand in a calendar year that's and i'm garbage what are you what saying? 50 50. I'm telling you, this is our first 50 50. Oh. Split down the middle. Trash class. I'll take that. I, Honestly, I, don't, I don't think we'll ever see one so sharply 
down the dude. She takes you're right. Chicken you're right. I'm going 50 50. I'm sorry. Takes chicken fingers from the country club. Yeah, hypnotic. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I mean, I had my give tongue. me my Saratoga water pack. <laughs> I had I had my tongue pierced four times in college, but uh. I played weddings with that tongue piercing, you know, in my tongue on the harp. On the harp. Why yeah. did you get it done four times? Because I kept taking it out for different reasons. And I was like, oh, fuck, I want it done again. What would be one of the reasons? Um, I had a boyfriend that was like, eh, take that out. My mom <laughs> caught me one time. Uh, another time it was a dare and closed up too quick. But I would take the little spacer and put it in and then go play the harp at weddings in, a, in like a nice ball gown. So, I mean, I really, yeah. truly write so down the Shout out to that boyfriend. Trash. Get rid of that shit. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a fucking loser. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't, I'll take a You know, I'll take 50 50. 50 yeah, I don't 50, think. 50. I, I mean, this is cra- It's crazy. It was each. It was a fucking coin flip. It was a flip flop. I felt like I was playing ping pong over here. You've lived a life. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. But like I said, I'm at Barcel now. So if you guys talk to me in like a year or so, I bet that the trashiness is coming back. You know? <laughs> I had to hide it for a and little She's got bit. a face tattoo. <laughs> she looks like Post Malone next time she comes on. <laughs> Drinking a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I'll, I'll yeah, smoke a yeah, cigarette yeah, yeah. for you guys. She's vaping. Dating or Logan something. Paul or something like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Damn, I That's love funny. it. Perfect. Very funny. Casey okay. Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Is there anything you want the folks out there to know other than uh, your shows what, and Barstool? social media? And yeah, stuff? I, well, I'm on a million shows at Barstool. I know. So Killing just, it. You just thank you so much. Uh, my social media, my parents named me all fucked up, too. It's Casey, K-A-Y-C-E. Mm-hmm. I was going to mention that. You That's also it. points, too. Which on which way? Casey's nobody's who spells Casey like that. I've never nobody, seen it, yeah. but I think it's because my last name is Smith. They wanted to spice it up. Ah, okay. right, I'm Casey that. Casey Lee Smith. Uh, ah, L e i g h too. Oh yes, man, yes, super southern. Yeah, but, definitely 50 50. <laughs> Maybe 60 40. <laughs> after which, that. which way? Trash. Trash. No, come on. Your name's Casey Lee, and it's all spelled weird. What do you want from me? <laughs> we got to run an honest show here. I know. <laughs> I mean, there's fans. We got to, we got to yeah. rub it. But think about it. If you say it with a Southern accent, it's like Casey Lee. It's, get trash. All spelled all no, trashy. No, no. Yeah, because you can also say, hey, Casey Lee, get the <laughs> fucking <laughs> diet soda. Go get me to Dr. Pepper. Casey right, Lee sold her harp again. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, she uses her harp to cut cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that would be a great thing to cut cheese. Uh, no, my parents don't have accents at all, so it does just sound normal. Casey okay. Lee Smith. Yeah. But yeah, on social, Casey Smith. K A Y C E Smith. Awesome. So funny. Awesome. Buddy, thank you so much thank for you coming so much to sit with us. So much fun. Anytime. Kippy, what do, you, what do you got the folks out there? Uh, as know. always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Subscribe there as well. Also, patreon.com slash are you garbage. Sign up for bonus content, episodes, videos, live streams. We'll be playing the game with you guys. It'll be a fucking hoot. At Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Thanks a lot. Will this be out before December 10th? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Then, gang, please come out and see Uncle Hank and Kippy co-headline Soul Joel's Comedy out there in Royersford, PA. We have our links up in our bios. And uh, come see us. We're going to have a great time. Yeah. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.